Hi, this is Josh from greendropship.com, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download a CSV file, edit the file using Microsoft Excel, and upload it to your WooCommerce store. Chances are, your wholesale suppliers have provided you with a CSV file that contains lots of different products and categories. If you are a niche dropshipper or blogger, you probably only want to list certain categories in your store. Today, I'm going to show you how to customize your CSV file so that you can get your online store up and running in no time flat. So to get started, let's talk about what a CSV file is. A CSV file allows you to import and export large amounts of data using one file. Basically, it is a spreadsheet that uses commas to separate the values in the spreadsheet. This is useful if you are trying to import product data, customer information, or other data necessary to run your dropshipping business. CSV files really aren't that complicated or difficult to edit or create. To edit or create a CSV file, you can use Microsoft Excel, OpenOffice Calc, Google Sheets, or Notepad. So to get started, we'll need to log into our Green Dropship members account. To do this, log on to greendropship.com and come over to the sign in button located here. If you are already a registered customer, you can log in here. Once you've reached the dashboard, you'll see the member resources area located here. And right underneath that, you'll see the data feeds and inventory levels. To download the CSV file that has been pre-formatted for WooCommerce, you'll come down to the logo right here where you see the WooCommerce logo, and it says download feed for WooCommerce. All you have to do is click the button and your download will begin. So once you have downloaded your pre-formatted WooCommerce CSV file, all you have to do is open it. Here, you will see all of the product information. You'll see the type, the SKU, the names of your products. So here we have our Argo T, if it's published, as well as the description, which all of this can be edited. Now, if you are making edits, it's important to note not to change the headers located here. These should always be the same and you should not rearrange them or mess with them in any way. What you can do is you can come in here and change the product descriptions or other information if you wish to customize your store even further. But today we're going to talk about how to narrow down the categories of the CSV file that has been provided by a wholesaler. So in this particular file, we know that the categories are located in column X right here. So here we have our categories. And notice if you're scrolling down, there are lots of different categories here. There's some for health and beauty. There's some for groceries, cheeses even, frozen foods. So there are lots of different products here. And say for instance, I'm a niche blogger who is only trying to sell frozen products on my online store. This could be a problem just because there are too many products that I don't want and I don't want to have to go through and delete products and categories that I don't need. And there are a lot here. So let's begin by doing a simple filter. To do this, we're going to go up to our data tab right here. We're going to click this, and then we're going to go over to filter right here. And once you click this, all the headers now have this drop down menu. So what we're going to do is go scroll back to our X column, which is our categories and we're simply going to click this drop down menu. Now once we've done this, we have a new window here. And where you see select all, deselect this. So what this does basically is it gives you a fresh slate to start on. So as I mentioned before, I'm a niche blogger who is trying to sell frozen foods on my website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to frozen right here. I'm going to check that as well as any, any other categories that I want to include on my online store. So since frozen is the only category that I want listed in the CSV file, I'm going to hit OK. Now, as you notice, this list just got a lot shorter and it's organized by everything that is a frozen product. So everything that we have here, these are all frozen. So that just saved us a lot of time and now we have a customized CSV file that is best suited for our store. So now the last step in editing this CSV file in, in Microsoft Excel is to go up to file and we're going to go to save as. And now we're just going to title it something different. So 
So there we are. We have it titled something different and we can save it to really wherever we'd like. And then we can just go ahead and hit yes. And then we can minimize this. Once you have logged into your WordPress website, you're going to have to download the WooCommerce plugin. For this example, I have already done so, but to download the plugin, all you have to do is go down to Plugins, Add New, you're going to go over here to the Search Plugins, and type in WooCommerce. And you would just hit Install Now, which in this case is a little bit different for me just because I already have this plugin installed. So once you've done that, you already have your plugin installed. Then you're going to go down to Tools on the left hand side of your toolbar. And you're going to go to Import. Just click that. And now scroll to the bottom of this list and you're going to see WooCommerce Products CSV and click this Run Importer button right here. This is going to allow you to import products to your store using a CSV file. So now, it's going to ask you to choose the CSV file. So for this, we're going to use the CSV file that we've edited. So to do this, I'm going to go to the location that I saved it. And right here, Products WooCommerce Frozen. We've selected it, and you don't have to worry about any of these other features here. And you can just go down to the Continue button, located at the bottom. Now this may take some time depending on how many products you are trying to import to WooCommerce. Now, for the Column Mapping section right here, this is going to allow you to map your CSV fields to your products. Now, now since we're already using a pre-formatted CSV file provided by GreenDropship.com, we really don't have to worry about this step because all of these columns are already correctly mapped. As you can see, the SKU goes to the SKU and so on and so forth. So really, we can disregard a lot of the content on this page and just scroll down to the bottom and hit Run the Importer. And here we're going to see the progress of our CSV file import. And as you can see at the bottom here, it's going to take a little bit of time even though uh, we really didn't have too many products so hopefully you found this helpful. Be sure to stay tuned for more videos and content from greendropship.com.